Okay, in uh, this clip I'm going to show you how you can make 3D photos using Zara Extreme and it's super easy to do. These uh, photos will be in black and white but in 3D and you will need 3D glasses to view them, the ones with uh, the red and blue lens, red lens on the left eye, the blue on the right. So to make these you need to take two pictures. So with my uh, digital camera, I changed the settings to black and white so they would take black and white pictures right away. So you need to take two pictures, one for the left eye, one for the right. So here's uh, my camera, the top view, and there's like the shutter button. So you take one picture, then as steady as you can, move the camera about two and three quarters to three inches across to take your second image. So the distance between uh, the lens from the left image and then the right image. But the distance between uh, like your eyes would be. So you take uh, two photos. Now this one is for the left eye and we can tell because there's you can see from the lamp there's more information on the left compared to this one because there's more on the right. So this is our right, and that's our left, just in case we get mixed up later on. I'm going to put one on top of the other. Now this is our right image. I'm going to move it to the back. I'm going to select our left eye image. And then down here, select uh, Cyan, and right-click the mouse. The picture will turn like that. Move it to the back, select our right eye image, go down to red, right click on red, and then uh, transparency, select stained glass, and then we're going to line them up a bit better, and you can select like a focal point, which uh, if, this was a, if this was like an outdoor scene and someone was standing in the middle, you probably want to make them your focal point. But on this one, I'm going to do that on the, this corner on this desk. So then what you do, so I'm going to zoom in a bit. Now the top image, which is our right image, I'm going to select it, and I'm going to move it to the right, and line it up with uh, our left eye image. And you can see that on the desk, there's this mark on the desk, and then there's the other one. So I'm going to line those up by repositioning the top layer. I'm going to just go in a bit closer. Looks hard. okay right now. And just see. So that looks alright. Zoom back out. Now you can see there's a bit of the overhang on either side. So I'm just going to make a shape. Fill it in our viewing area. Like that. I'll just give it a fill and move it to the back. Select everything, control A, apply a clip view, and that's it. It's a 3D image. You put on your 3D glasses and you can see this 3D world. It's kind of cool. Easy to make, fun to do. It turns out pretty good. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.